Hey guys, Guy Level here. And if you've been streaming for a little bit, there are some things that you've tried doing with OBS Studio that just didn't work. So you gave up on them. I wanted to make this quick tutorial to show you that, for example, if you have a webcam like the Logitech C920 and you try adding two sources of the same webcam, you probably figure out that it's not possible. It just won't show up on that second source. Now, if you add the same source of the same webcam, but you decide to add a filter on one of those in a scene, you'll realize that the filter applies to the first one too. So how do we manage to get different filters for different scenes using one webcam? The answer will shock you. <laughs> there is a solution for that, but it's more complicated than we would want it to be. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is my OBS scene right now. I've added two additional scenes to demonstrate the purpose of this video and this technique. Let's say that you have your intermission screen, right? So this is from the Wolf Pack available at gumroad.com slash get level for free. And it comes with this intermission. All you have to do is add your camera in the back and it's a full screen camera scene basically. And then I created this scene that's a gameplay scene. So you would have a camera overlay there and then maybe your game in the background. Now let's try to do that so I can demonstrate the problem. Of course, if you want to add a camera, you would want to add a video capture device. So let's click that plus button underneath source, click video capture device, call it webcam, and add our Logitech C920. We're going to configure it real fast. I'm going to do that in time lapse. Okay, so we have our webcam. It is here. It is full screen. Let's place it underneath the intermission screen. Okay, and just let, let's say that this is your intermission screen. So you're here, full webcam, right? Now you want to add your camera to your gameplay scene. Let's do that. So we're going to click plus again and add a video capture device. And here we have the option to add another camera, like a new source. Let's try that. Call it webcam 2. Click OK. And nothing happens. You cannot select the C920 anymore. It just won't show because you're already using it in the first scene. So you can't have two scenes unless you're going through a virtual camera setup. Like if you're using an extra software, you will have that problem if you're just using the C920 straight into OBS like that. Let's cancel that. Let's delete webcam two because we don't really need it. And uh, let's try again. Let's go with video capture device. And this time let's add an existing webcam, which is webcam, the one that we already have. And let's click OK. Now you would think, OK, mission accomplished. We got two webcams. This is not the issue yet. OK, the thing is here, for example, in the wolf overlay pack, you obviously have the option to get, you know, a rectangular camera overlay, but you also have these two camera overlays, which are circular, which would require you to add a filter. If we were using the rectangular, let me try to just add that like that. What we could do is just place it the way we want and then hold alt drag the sides and crop it and we would have our webcam working okay webcam overlay and the cropping does not affect the first one okay so technically this is still a uh, full screen here and move it around any way i want let's say that we want to use that circular webcam overlay what would we do turn this one off actually i'm going to just delete the rectangular one and now I have my webcam. Let me undo the cropping, holding alt on crop, holding alt to crop. And I want my camera to fit here. I would have to add a filter for that. So let's right click on webcam, click filters. And under effect filters, I will add a image mask slash blend. Click browse and then find your overlay. In this case, we're using the wolf overlay pack. I'm going to find the mask. And now, as you can see, here <laughs> as you can see here uh, i have a circular webcam now that fits the overlay perfect perfect there you go now it fits now i should be ready to stream but wait a second if i go back to my intermission here's the issue the effects are going to be applied everywhere now if you're doing color correction you want your webcam to be sharper or whatever filter that you're using that's fine if you want it to be everywhere on the webcam but if you want specific filters for specific scenes like in our case right here you'll have to go with a more complex setup let me show you the first thing i'm going to do is delete uh, the webcam sources that and create a new scene we gonna call this one webcam full and we're going to add our webcam video capture device just call it webcam set it up again 
Okay, so here webcam is full. And now in the intermission screen, I'm going to add that scene. Instead of adding a capture device, I'm gonna add a whole scene. We're gonna click scene, and then we're gonna find our webcam full scene, right? Add it, place it underneath the intermission screen. Everything is good so far. All right, and now in gameplay, if you add this scene, you will have the same problem. And you don't wanna have the same problem, right? If you wanna add this, it's not going to work. I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'll, I'll skip this step. In order to add a different filter, you would need to duplicate this scene. I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate it. Now I can call this one webcam game because it's the webcam scene that's going to be on my gameplay. OK, now that we have a different scene, we can add a different filter. Let me show you. So gameplay, going to click plus. We're going to add a scene, webcam game. OK, now we're going to right click, add filter, new filter, image mask blend. Remember, that works with every any other use, any other filter that you're using. I'm just this is the most common one I encounter. So that's why I'm using this specific filter. Boom, circular, Make it kind of match. <laughs> OK. Now, does it work? Let's go back to the intermission scene. And there you go. Basically, the source is going to be the scenes. So if you have an effect on one source, it's you applying it to the whole scene and not the webcam source per se. One way to verify that is to just right click on the scene themselves and click on filters, right? The filters are applied here. They're not applied on the webcam source. Um, webcam game, if I go filters, I will see my mask. But if I right click on the source and uh, click filters, no effects here. So obviously, again, that works with anything. Let me add another filter to show you. Let's go with color correction is one that I like a lot. <laughs> if you've been watching my videos, let's uh, let's say that you want your webcam on your gameplay to look like that. OK, perfectly normal, casual Twitch stream. Um, your intermission screen is going to look like that normal. But when you switch here, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> and there you go. The same technique should be applicable to Streamlabs OBS because it's basically the same core software. I know that people that go through other softwares do not have that problem. I do not have that problem because I use a DSLR with a software called Sparkle Cam, and I can basically add new sources as much as I want because it's virtual sources. But I know that the C920 is kind of like the most popular webcam amongst streamers and other, other webcams will have the same issue of not being able to duplicate the source. But since I don't have that problem and then I don't actually use the technique that I just showed you, let me know if you have another technique to make this work that is less clogging because it basically you have to add extra scenes every time you need to add extra camera filters. So maybe I'm overcomplicating stuff and there's another way of doing it. I don't know. You let me know. But again, check out gumroad.com slash gal level if you want to find some cool overlays, the transitions that I was using. That's like those are free transitions that you can get on gumroad.com slash gal level. You know the deal. Subscribe. Click that notification bell and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. Go out there. Make me proud. Gal level out.